aquí con mi amigo Orlando, Orlandito, me dicen Tito, Orlando, my people call me G. Bienvenido a nuestro canal de YouTube, Caribbean Amigos on Twos. And this is going to be our launch on our, our channel. Hopefully you guys hit us with a like, comment, subscribe, and follow. Bueno, ahora les voy a estar enseñando mi motora. Eh, esto es una Street Glide del 2018, special. Eh, la del aniversario, 115 aniversario. Eh, y les voy a estar mostrando todas las piezas y los cambios que yo le he hecho a mi motora. Bueno, vamos a comenzar con eh, el aro del frente. El aro del frente de mi motora es hecho por FTD Customs. Um, you can order them online. El fender es Advan Black, 21 inch wrap around fender, along with that cover. Um, I also have the Custom Dynamics turn signals right here and running lights. They're beautiful at night. Um, I also have the turn signals, Custom Dynamics. Um, I have a Arlen Ness air filter along with all the parts, Harley Davidson parts that, I, that I've put on. Um, here at the bottom, this is something special. Here at the bottom, those covers, they're made by Figurati Designs, okay? You could go online and get them, Figurati Designs. They could custom make them to anything that you want on them. I also added uh, the sound system and the speakers. This is made by Sounds. I have the carbon uh, speakers installed on the bike as long as the one in the front. I have 14 inch uh, KST Customs uh, handlebars. Here in the back, I added a tour pack. As you all know, street glides don't come with tour packs. So this tour pack, I ordered it uh, straight from Harley along with the spoiler on the tour pack. This light right here, this is something that I, I recently did. This is uh, Advan Black, Advan Black Reaper tail light on the bike. Also here at the bottom, Custom Dynamics. These are lights as well. Um, they're fillers for the holes. Those filler lights, they act as turn signals as well. And I added a third brake light. Also, I changed this running light at the bottom, which is now a brake light as well, to give it more visibility for safety. Um, so y'all can see, most of everything is stock on this side of the motor. I only have a stage one done as of right now on this bike. Looking forward to have a stage two, maybe stage three and four. It is chain, uh, the shifter linkage and also the shifter. I changed that as well, along with the highway pegs. As you can see, I actually inverted my mirrors towards the bottom because I didn't like the way they looked. It looked like a little bumblebee. Um, coming down the road. Bueno, ahora les voy a estar mostrando la motora con las luces encendidas para, vean, para que vean cómo se ven. Uh, mo, uh, these lights right here are custom dynamics. Son de custom dynamics. Ellas sirven como running lights y a la misma vez como señales. Les voy a mostrar cómo funcionan. Como pueden ver, cambian de color en la señal y la visibilidad del frente es excelente. Ambas. Um, las luces... De aquí son Daymakers también y como vieron ellas cambian eh, cuando usan las señales. Tengo un Daymaker eh, as my main headlight. Es eh, un Daymaker. Um, si pueden pasar por aquí, les voy a mostrar. Tengo la Accent Lights en la motora que son azules. Al igual que la motora, como pueden ver, ilumina la parte de adentro del motor. Ilumina todo eso bien bonito. Aquí también, como pueden ver en mi mano, ella ilumina de noche eh, y a la parte de atrás por igual. Tenemos iluminación aquí azul, como las pueden apreciar. Y aquí a la parte de atrás, como les estaba explicando ahorita, tenemos la, las luces, la Reaper de Advan Black. Estas luces actúan como señales. Eh, actúan como señales y a la misma vez actúan como freno. ¿Lo ves? Todas ellas funcionan. Las de las tablillas actúan como señales. Estas actúan como señales y estas. Al igual que todas estas luces de aquí. 
Mire cómo se enciende el freno. No hay excusa para que la gente diga no te vi. Esto es un cup holder de Zero 3D. Ellos lo hacen. Está sumamente cómodo. Me encanta porque se puede mover. You can move it around, adjust it and all that. And it holds your drinks in there. It's, it's amazing. Está tremendo. Este phone holder que yo le tengo a mi motora es hecho por la Harley Davidson. Um, como puedes ver, es un bracket y le puedes cambiar este. Yo, fue, yo escogí este porque es mi preferido, pero ellos tienen diferentes mounts que tú puedes cambiar la parte del frente. Estos son Avon Grips que le puse a la motora. Los compré en JP Cycles. Eh, lo, le decidí ponerle los Avon Grips porque le van al estilo que yo estoy creando en la motora. También estos covers de aquí de la, de la Axle, de la rueda del frente, son hechos por una compañía aquí en Estados Unidos. Se llaman Top Down Products. Tienen un montón, tienen unos que son spinners, que dan vueltas, tienen estos sencillos, pero... Ya este es el segundo set que yo le compro a la motora. Me encantan por la manera en que se ven. Y son diferentes. No todo el mundo los tiene. Top down products. Look them up online. All right. So I'm going to talk to you guys about my 21 roguelike standard. Y si no se han dado cuenta todavía, el que gasta el dinero aquí es Victor. Eh, yo tengo un par de piezas aquí que son de Amazon. We're going to start on the front on my bike. The front wheel is a 21 inch. It's 52 spokes. It's a DNA wheel. If you look at the spokes, actually they're black. And then the nipple right there is chrome. So we'll move up to the front here. Y como le dije, yo no, yo no soy como viste. Yo gato dinero en Amazon y eBay. And you can see there, I have the eyebrow that I bought. That was off of eBay. That was pretty cheap. It was like $20. Si subo un poquito más para arriba. Este windshield yo se la cambié. Yo creo que este es de 8 pulgadas y medio, 9 pulgadas, por el de Clockworks. Y mucho más diferente a la original que viene de Harley. Moviendo un poquito más para atrás. Estos mirrors. Estos se los pusimos cuando estábamos en Daytona. Estos son de Arlen S, the oval mirror. Me gusta mucho porque this is the look that I'm trying to go for with my bike. Just keep a little, um, like those gold accents and touches right there. We also got the Arlen S grips right there. And if we come down, this is the clear teardrop air breather from Arlen S. This was, we also got, this was actually a gift from my wife. Shout out to my wife. Uh, we got that in, the, in Daytona. And if we move back to the back of the bike. Esto aquí yo se lo corté. Esto, esto viene un kit de Boss. Este es como el, el, el Rockford Fosgate, pero a cheapo brand. Y viene con el kit todo, que you can cut it out. And esto yo lo hice, I did it myself and it was pretty cheap. But it comes with the speakers. It, For right now, they're pretty good quality. I mean, you're not going to win any contests or anything, but if I'm going down the road, I'll hear these things at like 80 miles an hour. Staying in the front right here, this is the Sony XAV 7000. When I bought my 21 Rogue Light, they had the, uh, they didn't have the touchscreen one. It hardly wanted like an extra $2,000. This one's actually pretty good price and it's all plug and play. And I think right now you can get a, a XAV 7000 for like, I don't know, $700, something like that. Moving on to the back of the bike. Como le digo, yo, yo no soy como viste. Yo, si me puedo ahorrar un poquito de dinero, me lo voy a ahorrar. These pipes son las de Amazon. They're the shark nose. They're 200 bucks. But I've had them on here for about, I don't know, like 1,500 miles. And they've held up pretty well. The only thing with these pipes, the chrome starts to peel off. So it's, that's probably the only issue you're really going to have. I haven't tuned my bike yet, but we'll get there. We'll get there eventually. And then if you come to the back of my bike, you can see I have a bunch of different lights and stuff like that. This is the Latitude light from Zero 3D. These are the bag blade lights from Zero 3D. I forget what they call these, but these are also from Zero 3D. I think they're the machete lights or something like that. But the cool thing about like Zero 3D and Custom Dynamics, they'll hook up to each other. So I have, I took out my antenna and replaced them with these lights right here. And the cool, like I said, the cool thing about that is they'll all plug in, into each other. So it doesn't matter if it's Zero 3D or Custom Dynamics. It's all plug and play and they'll all plug into each other. So as you can see here, I think I got uh, the Tri-Bar 2 from Custom Dynamics. And that'll run, that acts actually as a, 
run and break. So you can see that right there, that's run and break. And again, just more lighting. You see the sequential turn signals right there. So the altitude to the light from uh, Zero 3D, it's actually this whole bracket right here and you get the, it replaces your license plate holder. So it's really neat. This is like a carbon fiber sticker, but it looks pretty cool. We'll move around the bike. So these peg shifters I actually got from a company down in California. They're called uh, San Jose Customs. I got the peg shifters and the linkage right here. And again, I'm just trying to go for like that gold accent. So staying right here, como le digo, yo, a mí me gusta comprar muchas cosas en Amazon. Y si, porque al final del día, if it's cheap, it's cheap. I, it's not really a, a loss, right? Because I got these lowers from Amazon. And because my bike is vivid black, it's easy to match up. Uh, the speakers are... I got those off Amazon too. They're the Rockford Fosgate, but they're the cheap ones. They were like, the pair was like $80. But if you see, the only thing I'll knock about the Amazon lowers, the cap is a little loose. But again, for $200, you can't really beat that. And then staying right here, if you guys see this button right here, I replaced a cigarette lighter. And I know on camera it looks kind of orange, but it's actually red. I got it from a dude named... Uh, his company's called Rogers Unlimited. He's a veteran. And basically what this does, it replaces your um, your garage door, your cigarette lighter. I turned it into a garage door opener. So if you look here, I'll press the button and my garage door will open right up. Press the button again. Closes the garage door. So that's pretty cool. And then I got, estos son 12 pulgadas KSD custom spearheads. And again, I put these on myself. And the cool thing about these, they're adjustable right here. So you'll run the wire all through here and they actually come out right down here. You can't even see it. And then just hide it behind this cluster. And if you look at the uh, Sony radio, it's actually pretty cool because it comes with Apple CarPlay and it's all right there. Pretty neat. Obviously I'm not gonna play any music. We'll move up to the front of the bike. And this is the last thing I've done so far. My turn signal are custom dynamics. I know it looks pretty bad on camera, but these are the ones that have the, the halo around it. And then if you hit the turn signal, it goes from white to yellow. I also got, got the cheap Amazon LED lights that you put on the bottom. So if you look at it, well, that's why it's Amazon. So it just tarts up whenever it wants, I guess. But no, they were like, 50 bucks and I've had them on for like three months now. And they've worked, they've held up pretty well. It's also integrated into my brake system. So whenever I brake, the lights come on. So, and it'll work with everything. And these are the two beauties right here. All right guys, thank you for watching our video again. Just give us a like, comment, subscribe and share. Just follow us on our journey, talking to our uh, Caribbean people. Gracias, gracias por eh, ver nuestros videos. Eh, dele like, suscríbase y compártalo con los amigos. Y si tiene alguna pregunta o duda, eh, envíenos un comentario y le estaremos contestando. Gracias. Gracias por ver Caribbean Amigos on Twos.